I, I wanted to do a pigeon variation. Pigeon was once my nemesis. I, it, I used to cry every time I did it. But um, since my hip operations, uh, I have managed to work a way around being able to do pigeon. So I I've got two cushions, two blocks, okay? Um, and I will probably use the uh, chair as well. So let me just move all the clobber out of the way. So I'm gonna start in a sort of cat uh, pose. So my hands are up on the chair. I'm gonna bring my right knee forward and slide my left leg back. Right, traditionally, uh, pigeon pose, let me turn, is the, the uh, shin of the front leg is facing the front of the mat and then you turn into that. But my hips will not accept that. So I'm going to bend my knee a little bit more, flex my foot. OK, even a flexed foot will change the position of this. So even that is quite challenging for me. So I'm going to release the foot so the top of my foot is on the floor. So now I'm going to put a cushion, first of all, underneath my belly. And then I'm going to take two blocks and put that underneath my bottom. Actually, I only need one. And maybe I'll put that cushion on top of the block. So I'm filling up the space where I'm not able to drop my left, sorry, my right butt cheek into the floor. And then I'm gonna put that cushion just to, on my, underneath my belly, and then turn my hips towards the floor, towards the chair, and then I'm gonna drop down and release the weight of my right hip into the blocks and the cushion and then I'm gonna drop the front of the left hip down. And then I'm gonna to start to breathe very, very deeply. So as, the, as I release, I should be able to give a little bit more length into that front, that left hip flexor. And this is also some a space which I need to fill. So actually I'm gonna now move the cushion underneath that top of the left hip and then that is supported as well and I'm going to return back to the release so deep breath in and exhale release deep breath in fill my lungs fill my belly fill right down into the pelvic bowl into the hips into the hip flexors and release. So it's good to stay here for quite a few breaths. It's quite intense, I find it, on the front with the, with the forward fold. Um, and, you know, I'm going to just ease my foot out just a little bit more to see how that feels and flex the foot. So once you're in a pose, it's about sort of moving and finding different nuances of the stretch. So for example, it's quite nice for me to come up and then maybe just look over my right shoulder so I can really feel the increased stretch in the front hip flexor. Breathing in and breathing out. And of course you do it on the other side. So it's, uh, I'll try and show you the other side. Coming out of it really slowly with breath. And I'm gonna use the chair again. So bringing the heel of the left foot towards the front of the hip, the right hip. And then I'm gonna take all my blocks. So take all the blocks around. It's really worth setting yourself up, getting lots of different props. So that's gonna go, that flat cushion is gonna go under my left hip going to bring that more plump cushion and put it underneath my right hip so that's filled as well okay so that that now feels really comfortable and I've got um, I'm just going to sort of inchworm my right foot my right foot back to extend through that right uh, thigh and then once I've, I'm comfortable there 
you can release down. So actually, some of you might be able to come all the way down to the floor and that's fine, but I kind of like being up high and then releasing down into it. Some nice, deep, deep breaths all the way down. Think about the breath going down, right down into the pelvis and into the hips, sort of clearing the, uh, the hips, any stuck energy in the hips through the breath. So you're really, really flushing through. Deep, deep breaths in and out. It's good to stay here for about two minutes. And remember that the jaw should be relaxed. So relax your jaw, relax your hands, drop the shoulders, um, release the top of the body onto either the floor or your um, sofa, chair, whatever you've chosen. And again, I have not brought the front shin, my left shin, I haven't brought it parallel to the front because my, my hip doesn't rotate that much. <sighs> so to come out, I'm going to just lift the lower belly up and in towards the spine and then breathe as I come out and do it really slowly, taking all the props away, shifting over, bringing that right leg in and have a little shake, shake it out. And that's my adapted pigeon for hip replacements. <laughs>